In this video, we're going to finish up the graphing linear inequalities worksheet, and I'll leave a link in the description below of how to get to that on the CUDA software website. So we want this to look like slope intercept form, so we're going to have to do a little bit of math before we go ahead and graph. If you wanted to, you could also plug in values for x, solve for y, and then plot the points from there. With that method, it'd be helpful to use a t-table. Let's go ahead and do that method first, and in number 10, we'll do the slope intercept form method. So for this, I'm picking a value for x and solving for y. I want to see when x is 0, what is y. So I'm going to write this like an equation. 3x minus 2y is equal to 10. If x is 0, 3 times x, or 3 times 0, is simply 0. So I'll be left with negative 2y equals 10. Divide by negative 2 to get that y is equal to negative 5. So when x is 0, y equals negative 5. Now I'm going to pick 2. What happens when x is 2? 3 times 2 minus 2y equals 10. 3 times 2 is 6, so that'll be 6 minus 2y equals 10. I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. 10 minus 6 is a positive 4. When I divide both sides by negative 2 as my next step, I get that y is equal to a negative 2. So when x equals 2, y is negative 2. Now I have two points so I can create my line. 0, negative 5, and 2, negative 2. This is going to be a dashed line since I'm using the less than sign. And now let's try our test point. Let's go ahead and use the same test point we've been using in the previous video, 0, 0. If I plug 0 in for x, that's 0. And if I plug 0 in for y, this quantity is 0. So I have 0 is less than a positive 10, which is true. So I'm going to shade in, including that 0. Let's move on to number 10. In number 10, I'm going to start by rewriting this in slope-intercept form. So I'm going to start by subtracting 5x from both sides. I'll get that negative 3y is less than or equal to negative 5x minus 15. Then I'm going to divide both sides by a negative 3. I'll be left with y on the left-hand side, and since I divided by a negative, remember, I have to flip this inequality. So now y is greater than or equal to negative 5x over negative 3 is the same as positive 5x over 3, which is 5 thirds x. And negative 15 over negative 3 is a positive 5. So now I have my slope, m, which is 5 over 3, and my y-intercept occurs at positive 5. So 0 in the x, positive 5 in the y, and then my rise over run is 5 over 3, but I'm going to make them both negative, since a negative over a negative is still positive, and go down 5 and 3 to the left. That'll put me at the point, negative 3, 0. And since my sign is greater than or equal to, we're going to use a solid line. Now we just need to use the test point. Let's use the point, 0, 0. And you can plug that test point into the original inequality or into the new inequality that we've acquired. Let's go ahead and plug it into the original since it'll be easier. If we plug in 0 for x and 0 for y, 5 times 0 is 0, 3 times 0 is 0, so we'll be left with 0 on the left-hand side, less than or equal to negative 15 on the right. Is that true? No. 0 is greater than negative 15, so we're not going to shade in the region that includes 0, 0. We're going to shade in the other region. And that's the answer to number 10. In number 11, our slope is 0, so it's going to be a horizontal line. What we need to do is locate the y equals 4 line, and it's going to be solid since it's greater than or equal to. 
And now we just have to decide which way we're going to shade, where if y is everything greater than or equal to that 4, that's going to include 5, 6, and so on. So we're going to shade above that y equals 4 line. And that's the answer to number 11. In number 12, let's go back to our t-table method. We're going to pick a value for x and solve for y using x minus y equaling 2. So if we pick an x value of 1, we're going to have 1 minus y equals 2. Subtract 1 from both sides to get that negative y equaled a positive 1. So if we divide or multiply by negative 1, we get that y is equal to negative 1. So when x is 1, y is negative 1. And let's see what happens when x equals 2. When x is 2, we have 2 minus y equals 2. Subtract 2 from both sides to get that negative y equals 2 minus 2, 0. Multiplying or dividing by negative 1 to each side gives us that y equals 0. So when x is 2, y is equivalent to 0. Now let's plot those two points. 1, negative 1, 2, 0. And those are going to be connected with a dashed line since it's greater than, not greater than or equal to. And now let's use our test point of 0, 0. Plugging 0 in for x and 0 in for y, we get that 0 is greater than 2, which is not true. Therefore, we shade the region that doesn't include that point 0, 0, so it's going to be everything to the right of our dashed line. And that wraps up the video for graphing linear inequalities. Like I say in all my videos, all your subscriptions and likes are greatly appreciated, so go ahead and do that now. Also, if you have any comments or requests for a certain worksheet, go ahead, leave the link in the comments below, and I'll get to that as soon as I can.